the energy released from condensation in thunderstorms can be very large. Calculate the energy released into the atmosphere from a small storm of radius 1 kilometers, assuming that 1 centimeter of rain is precipitated uniformly over this area. Okay. Right, so here is this cloud. <coughs> you know, clouds are formed by condensation of water vapor into tiny droplets. Okay, so you know, we are going to take a spherical cloud. So R is the radius. And here is the cross section over which, so area over which the rain falls by R squared. And they tell us that this one centimeter of rain falls. Okay. So the volume of water that fell is pi r squared <coughs> r squared times uh, thickness, which is pi. The radius of the cloud is one kilometer, so 10 to the 3 meters squared. And the thickness or the amount of rain that fell was one centimeters. One centimeter is uh, 10 minus 2 meters. <coughs> okay, so this is this is equal to it's 10 to the 6, so 10 minus 4 3.14 into 10 to the 4 meter cube. Okay. And so the mass of rain that fell was dense is <coughs> density of rain times water times the volume of water. And this is 10 to the 3 kg per meter cube times that. Three point one four into ten to the seven kgs. Okay. So that's the mass of rain that fell. <clears throat> now, this rain, this water, uh, was made by condensation of water vapor there. So we're assuming all the water in the cloud falls here. All right. So <clears throat> now, when water condenses. Now, when water vapor condenses to water, you release heat. Uh, the latent heat of vaporization is released. Okay, so and so let's add a page. So heat released during condensation in the clouds. is uh, mass of condensation times the latent heat of vaporization <clears throat> and the mass of water that was condensed was 3.14 into 10 to the 7 kgs okay <clears throat> well let's comment on this um a thousand kgs is roughly the mass of a small car so this is saying uh 31,000 small cars were condensed. Okay. The mass of 31,000 small cars were condensed in this small cloud. Okay. And the latent heat of vaporization of water is uh, uh, 2256. 2256 kilojoules per kg. Okay, so, and this works out too. Okay. So, 7.09 into 10 to the 13 joules. That's roughly 10 to the 14 joules. And just to give put this in perspective, the annual consumption of uh, 
annual U.S. consumption of energy. Energy is about 10 to the 20 joules. Okay. So that is, this is 1 million times that. Okay. So just one thundercloud releases 1 million times the energy of uh, the annual U.S. consumption of energy. That's pretty large. All right.